Welcome to Understanding Biology, a hands-on series. Today we are going to dive into item number three, section A of Biology Paper 1 2024, to look at sample scoring. David got married to Joan and they produced a son. Their son, when injured, bleeds a lot even with a slight cut on the skin, and this causes a lot of distress in the family. When Joan got pregnant for the second time, David advised her to abort on the belief that they would get a child with a similar condition to that of their firstborn son. However, when David and Joan went to the hospital concerning their son's condition, they were told that the condition was a result of Joan being a carrier of hemophilia. Task A. Explain why Joan should not take David's advice. B. Show how their son inherited the condition. C. What should Joan and David do to manage the challenges associated with the condition of their son? Part A. There is a chance of having a normal baby since. It is a genetic condition based on probability during fertilization. Hemophilia can be managed in hospitals by administering clotting factors in case of physical injuries. Abortion is illegal in Ugandan laws which may lead them into jail. Abortion can lead to the death of the mother from excessive bleeding if not carried out properly. Abortion risk of infertility late in life due to damage to the reproductive structures. Abortion is associated with an increased risk of infections to the reproductive system if done in an unsafe environment. Abortion may lead to mental health disorders due to the psychological distress and guilt of doing something immoral, illegal. Welcome to Hands-On Biology, competency-based learning. Struggling with biology? Not anymore. Here, we break down complex biology concepts into simple, clear, and engaging lessons. Hit that subscribe button now and take your learning to the next level. Part B of the item. Hemophilia is a sex-linked character determined by a recessive gene. Joan is a carrier and David is normal. Let capital H represent the allele from formal blood clotting. Let small h represent the allele for hemophilia. Parental phenotypes. Normal man with a normal woman in the physical appearance. Parental genotypes. A normal man with a carrier woman. Meiosis leads to the formation of gametes. Chromosomes separate along with their alleles, followed by random fertilization to form offspring genotypes. One carrier daughter and one hemophilic son, others all normal. Offspring phenotypes, all daughters normal. One normal son and one hemophilic son. Part C of the item, management. Immediate and timely medication to stop bleeding in case of physical body injuries to stop bleeding. Guidance and counseling to provide psychological support to the parents. Take proper care of the child to avoid risky situations that can expose the child to physical injuries, e.g. protective gear when playing. Proper nutrition with foods that can increase blood volume. Replacement therapy. Regular infusion of clotting factors to replace missing or low clotting factors helps the blood clot properly and prevents spontaneous bleeding. Demopressin. A synthetic hormone that stimulates the release of stored clotting factors in mild cases of hemophilia. Antifibrinolytics. Medications that help prevent clots from breaking down. Useful for dental procedures and minor cuts. Physical therapy. Helps manage joint damage caused by bleeding and improves mobility. Gene therapy. An emerging treatment that aims to introduce a functional copy of the defective gene responsible for hemophilia. First aid for minor cuts. Applying pressure and bandages for minor cuts and using ice packs for small areas of bleeding under the skin. Lifestyle modifications. Regular exercise to strengthen muscles and protect joints, avoiding contact sports, and using safer pain medications like acetaminophen instead of aspirin or ibuprofen. Gain access to our well-illustrated notes, activities of integration, assessments and quizzes, and exciting project work.